Welcome to Nameless Debate Radio, where radioactivity is contagious. You can join us in broadening our minds on the Nameless Debates Discord via the link below, and even feature here yourself, if you've got what it takes. This debate? Yeah, you said that. <clears throat> um, I have to do one thing first. If you can respond uh-huh. to this message... I'm about to DM you, just a moment. Okay. Yes or yes will do. Uh, yes. You have my um, oh yeah if you could um respond back via yeah. text via text i mean you, this is kind of unnecessary but sure okay um or well, do you want me to start off or do you want to start off um you can start okay i take the position that the universe had a beginning and this comports with Genesis 1-1 in the Bible. My first question to you, in your worldview, is the universe eternal or did it have a beginning? Uh, the universe is eternal. Okay. So in your worldview, are stars eternal? Yes or no? No. Okay. So prior, prior to the formation of stars, was tangible energy finite in size or was it omnipresent in your worldview i'm not sure that i understand the question before the formation of tangible stars in your worldview was tangible energy finite in size or was it omnipresent those aren't um that's not a dichotomy. I don't know what you mean. Like, yeah, this fin- is a true dichotomy. No, it isn't. Omnipresent and finite are category. That's a category error. They are not the no, same it's type not. Of thing. Yes, they are. Omnipresent means everywhere, uh, but something could be finite and yet omnipresent. Finite in size means that it's particular has a- with a uh, curvature. No, finite in size means that it is limited. That's all it means. Yeah, limited. It doesn't matter how you phrase it. All you need to know is that it has a curvature. Yes, but you understand that something could be finite yet omnipresent in space time. No, that would be infinite. Well, no, not no, it wouldn't. I'll give you an example. Um, the energy of a vacuum is is distributed uniformly over all of space time. It is finite and yet it is omnipresent. Um, in conjunction to the law of polarity, my question to you is what is the what is the opposite to infinite? Finite is the opposite to infinite. Yes. Uh, you infinite. understand that omnipresent is not a synonym of infinite. Ah, uh, yes, it is. No, it isn't. Look it up. Infinite in size. Omnipresent or unlimited omnipresent. in size. Omnipresent doesn't even have anything to do with size. Omnipresent is in every possible location. Yeah, so you're still eluding from my question. It sounds like you're not understanding. Location. No, you're not understanding. You're circumventing because you know where this is leading. I'm sorry. Uh, Do you agree that location and size are different paradigms? Um, Location and size. Well, then, look, we'll stay on point here. I'll just reiterate my question. So was before the formation of tangible stars in your worldview, was tangible energy omnipresent or was it not omnipresent? There isn't a third option. Yeah. Well, that's different to what you were asking before. No, it's uh, not. What, what's your answer? It is. I'm not really sure. I'm not a physicist, but I'm not even sure how that's pertinent to the question of whether or not there was a beginning or whether the universe is eternal. Okay, well then you've lost this debate because you can't argue from ignorance, so now I have to educate you. Sorry, how am I arguing from ignorance? You said I don't know. I said I don't 
that I don't know to the specific question that you're asking. It's up to you to establish that it is a pertinent question. Uh, well, you said earlier that you, you claim that energy is eternal. I, I so... claim that, yeah, well, I claim that the universe is eternal. You should be careful not to equivocate. I didn't say anything uh, about the eternality of energy. I said the, the universe is just tangible energy. That's not true. That that is. That's not just true. a. The universe is just a label. That's. I mean, that's a reductive way to think about it, and that's your language, not mine. I didn't agree to that. What I agreed to was the universe is eternal. So if you're going to equivocate between terms, perhaps you should sh set up an equivalence in definitions prior to the beginning of the debate. So there is a difference between a universe and a cosmos. A cosmos is omnipresent, and a universe is finite. Are you appealing to I'm sorry uh, omnipresent um, energy where is, where do you where do you get this distinction sorry hang on my question no but you is, just gave you outlined some definitions right I'm asking where did you get those from you are asserting that there's a difference between the cosmos and the universe you're saying that one of them is omnipresent and the other is finite again asserting this erroneous dichotomy but it's i don't a true know. dichotomy it isn't a true dichotomy you're not fooling me there's no fooling it's a category error you're as, just filibustering as your commenters on youtube will tell you it's a category error that you're making but anyway no, it's not. it definitely is but anyway um uh i said what i said at the beginning was that the universe is eternal i didn't say that energy is eternal I asked a clarifying question and you said no to this to reiterate that question. Are yeah. stars eternal or not in your worldview? You said no. Correct. So you have that. to go back before because the, the thing formation is, of stars. So no, my but... question still, look, you, you don't fit. I still remember the question. No, All your filibustering is not, I don't know. It's not distracting you, me you, from the you, question. You, 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 you're using these like buzzwords like filibustering, you know. I don't know why you're saying you're that. You're trying. I'm, you're tr you're, you're, no, you. You don't know think I mean. that I can't you remember the question. Mean. You're still. You're still really? stuck That's on you think this doing? question. No, listen. What I said was you tried to equivocate between my saying that energy is eternal and my saying that the universe is eternal. One isn't the same as the other. In your worldview, before the formation of tangible stars, was tangible energy omnipresent or was it not omnipresent? I don't know how to answer that question. I suppose there isn't a third option. That's so, okay. If you say, I don't know, well, then using deductive reasoning, we can rule out proposition B. Proposition B would be omnipresent tangible energy. Omnipresent tangible energy doesn't have a prime mover to get the very first protostar unless you allude to gravity. Okay, gravity are, you of, are you aware of the energy of a vacuum? It's called the cosmological constant? We are at terminus a quo before the formation of stars and planets. Yeah, so, you no, know, you're, you're interrupting, you're interrupting. Sorry, the laws of physics existed prior to the formation of stars. That's how stars were formed. Are you aware of this? Uh, do, you know, do you know any like cosmic? Uh, if you if you if you didn't interrupt, I was getting to that point. In your oh, worldview, okay. you have to assert gravity being the prime mover no, for I the don't. very first protostar. Okay. okay, if it's not gravity in your worldview, your That's only alternative is energy and matter. First of all, baseless supposition. Second of all, since I asserted the eternality of the universe, this uh, idea, this imposition of yours, that I would have to stipulate a prime mover is nothing but your confusion. Given that I assert the eternality of the universe, I would have to provide a sufficient reason that the universe is eternal, but it wouldn't be a prime mover. Okay, so then you're alluding to pantheism that energy and matter consists of life no, for it to move on its own. Me. You you keep telling me what I'm uh, what I'm putting forward. Is, gravi like, is gravity is, in your worldview? Yes or me. no? Did I say anything about pantheism? Please, is gravity. Please do not attribute to me positions that I have not explicitly affirmed. Is that clear? Is gravity in your world, yeah, view, yes or no? Right. Are you going to accept that if we're going to continue this debate, you're not going to attribute to me things I didn't say? Are we agreed? I said alluding to that you're I wasn't possibly I wasn't alluding using... to that. So you were guessing and you were wrong. Please don't do that again. In your world, view, is, is there gravity, yes or no? Does gravity exist in space-time? Yes, gravity is part of space-time. If you extrapolate your belief of gravity to terminus a quo, you gravity. To, hang on, you, I'm asking. Look, 
is was gravity in your worldview the prime mover for tangible yes. energy and matter to get the first protostar? This is the assumption that there is a prime mover. There is no such thing. So if there is no prime mover in your worldview, you your only option if hang on. If there is no prime mover in your worldview, your only alternative is that tangible energy and matter mm -hmm. moves on its own. Oh. Yes or no? Oh, that's okay, not why is it false? Why is it false? Because that's not the only alternative. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. The law, no, the law of excluded middle. The law, the law of excluded if middle. If you don't ask me to clarify, if instead you're just going to contradict what I'm saying, then you're right. The debate is over because there's no point talking to someone who, when I say there is an alternative, rather than saying, what's that, you idiotically go, no, there's no fucking alternative. Law of excluded middle, law of excluded middle. You sound like a fucking robot. Should I put another fucking 20 cents in you? In, in conjunction to the law of polarity, my question to you is what is the opposite to, to tangible? What is the opposite to the tangible? Can you provide me a citation for this supposed law of polarity? I've never heard of such a thing. It, it, it means... No, no, I don't word, care what it means. Hang on, a word... I want a citation. Can you just use Google? I could just tell you what it means. It means there is an opposite. A, a word has an opposite to it and That's vice versa. True. So, okay. but what, in what field is this a law? Laws of logic. So my question to you still stands is what is in, in conjunction? Excuse you're interrupting me. me. I'm educated in logic. It is not a law of logic. There are three laws of logic. And yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. The law of excluded middle is not the law of polarity. Um, the law of polarity law of excluded is, middle doesn't establish anything about polarities. The law of excluded middle establishes that a statement is a true, different a law. It's true or false. There's no. There are three laws of logic: the law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and the law of excluded mm -hmm. middle. It is not a law of logic. I'm educated on logic. I would know. Can if you, gravity, please, if if, if gravity is not, the, if it's a law of logic, please if, provide me a citation to where I can find some documentation on this. Un you could just Google the definition of polarity. I did, I did Google it, and there was no logical definition. There's no definition given in the field of logic, in the field of philosophy. I looked. So now that I've looked... Since red herring, red herring, red no, herring. No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Red herring, red herring. You're interrupting me. Just because, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? If you tell me to Google something, I Google it. I don't... Red I, herring. Shut the fuck straw up. man argument. Straw shut man up. argument. Shut up. You can't just repeat things. That doesn't make sense. All right. If I ask, if you ask, tell me to Google something and I do, and I can't find what you're looking for, isn't the only reasonable course of action left to me to ask you for a citation? You're setting up a straw man argument, which is a fallacy. My question to you is Sorry. gravity, the prime mover in your world for the very I, first I, proto star. I already, I already is gravity. I, okay. No what is your response? Mover. There's no prime mover in my worldview. Now answer my question, right? No, no. Well, excuse that's me. A, that's excuse a, me. Answer my question, all right? What other course of action is available to me if you invoke what you call a law of logic and I look it up and it's nothing of the sort, all right? You and I are supposed to be having an honest conversation. You're not being honest. This is dishonesty. You're bearing false witness about what I've said, which is actually probably against the tenets of your religion. And not just that, but when I ask you for clarification on a supposed law of logic which would be an appeal to authority but we'll move past that a law of logic you're invoking right and then you can't actually show me i looked it up you told me to google it i googled it i couldn't find what you were looking for now it's your turn to find the citation for me that's your job uh using motor logic uh, you could be possibly lying but you're still filibustering by circumventing to elude from my question are you refusing to provide a citation no. for your claim are you refusing to provide a citation for your client? I don't need a citation for a definition because no, you have access to Google. I already Googled it. I didn't find what you if were... You reject, if you reject the, the law of polarity, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What are you talking about? I it doesn't Googled matter. It. No, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. If you reject, if you reject that law, it, it doesn't matter because I could just use the law of excluded middle. I didn't, I didn't reject it. I asked you to provide me a citation. Uh, you you you, you you could be possibly lying. You're, it's a fallacy to ask me for a citation because you could be possibly lying that you did not look up the definition on Google. You so, honestly think this is persuasive. So if you said you said earlier, you, you said earlier, 
I asked you to provide me with a link. It's really not a hard thing to do. If you weren't lying, you would just do it. You know what my supposition is? My supposition is you made it up. And that's why you won't get me a definition, you fucking dishonest piece it of shit. It doesn't matter because it I could just matter. use the law of excluded middle. No, no, you can't. The you law have no pro middle. you said you said you said that. There it's was no exclusive. gravity. You, you have no prime mover. So your only alternative is energy and matter. It's true. Correct? No, okay. not correct. Okay, so what is what is the opposite to energy? What is the opposite to tangible? Intangible. Okay, so the intangible in your worldview is gravity. You've rejected okay. gravity being the prime mover. So oh. your only alternative is a tangible prime mover. It's all housed in a supposition that a prime mover is necessary. Do you recognize that? Okay, so are you saying that energy and matter consists of life? From the very start, no. In space. Okay, so then what? What caused the what caused the movement? Oh, hang on, what caused the movement for energy and matter? Physics in space time. Uh, space is physics? No, you know physics is just a. Shush, that's just shush, an assertion. Shush. shush. That's just an know, assertion. Shush, shush. Do you know what space time is? It's a spatio-temporal structure. So when I say that the space time is just a label up. to energy and matter. Finished. Shut up. I You're not going to filibuster against I me. Wasn't finished. Space time don't is just a, is just a label for don't tangible energy and matter. Don't fucking you're cut eluding, me off. You're, you're eluding from my question. Don't fucking cut me off. I was speaking. Space, space time is just a minutes. label for tangible have energy and matter. If you re if you reject a prime minutes. mover, your only alternative have, is have tangible energy and matter have being the prime mover. You're alluding to pantheism. You're alluding to pantheism. Have some fucking manners. This is a straw You're man. alluding to pantheism. You're, You're alluding to pantheism. Pantheism is the bunk with the zeroth law of feminine. You're just interrupting me to straw man. No, I mean, he's just interrupting me to straw man me. I didn't say anything about pantheism. And I was in the middle and of the state. You rejected a prime Shut mover. Shut up. You rejected a prime mover. I'm talking, all right? You said there is no prime I'm mover talking. in your worldview. Therefore, you're alluding to tangible you're energy and matter. Me. You're not going to talk over me. Do you understand? You're if alluding I'm to pan I'm talking. You have to wait until I'm finished to start. Is that clear? We're supposed to be having an honest conversation, and all you're doing is straw manning me and trying to over talk me. What sort of honesty is that? You made the assertion of space time. Is space time energy and matter in your worldview? Yes or no? Space time is not reducible to energy and matter. No. Okay, so is space time intangible in your worldview? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, and is space time ambulated, meaning that it's moving on its own, not contingent on an outside particular? Yes or no? Uh, no, it doesn't move. Okay, so then what caught? But then what caused the first movement to get the proto start in? Uh, that's within space time. Within space time, there's uh, a you line outside. So, of uh, stars, okay, is stars I eternal in your worldview now? Me. If you're not going to let me speak, the conversation's over. If I can't give an answer to your question, then you're just talking to a wall. I don't have to be here. You said earlier that stars are not eternal in your worldview. If, if I can't finish, which one is it now? If I I am saying the things that I'm saying now are completely consistent. The problem is you keep cutting me off. Are you going are to stars me? eternal in your world? You yes or no? No, the stars are spatio-temporal objects. Anything within space-time is limited by temporality. That is, it changes. When I say that the universe is eternal, I mean metaphysically, not physically. Physic you said it doesn't move. Phys you said that the intangible doesn't move, but now you're saying that it's ambulated. None of it moves. It's all static. The physical universe exists as a subset of the metaphysical universe which is necessarily true and doesn't change you said that the intangible which is space-time is not moving I didn't call i didn't call space-time the intangible i said space-time is intangible there is a more relevantly intangible thing which is metaphysics which apparently you know nothing about even though you're here to no just just that's just a fallacy so Fallacy, you, you, it's I'm, an assertion. You're, it's, that's an ad hominem. It's an assertion. You have, you, you have, you have asserted an ad hominem because you can't address it's not an ad my it's not an ad argument. Hominem. I gave an answer, and your lack of recognition of my answer tells me that you lack education on the subject. 
I'm going to, I'm going to po- using a reductio ad absurdum, I'm pointing out the fallacy in your yeah. assertion of space time. It's a you have, because you're not no, even listening hard enough to actually get what I'm saying. I'm saying, I am, I am listening, time, and all you're giving me is lies. lies. You're I'm arguing really semantics lying. because I'm you know lying. where this is I'm leading. The one, I'm the one who's lying. It's not you who's being dishonest. You know what we both know? We both know that once this conversation is done, you're not going to upload it to YouTube because I fucking embarrassed you. You look terrible. You're and projecting so, your insecurities so onto me in this debate. Look, Dude, there's no using, I have I'm, you, I'm pointing you out. I have, I have called you out on every rotten tactic you've tried to use and or you just keep trying to return to it. Do you think your viewers are retarded? Do you think they're not going to see through you? Like, come on, bro. I'm pointing out the fallacy in okay. your assertion no, of space time. You're being dishonest. You have, no, let me respond and then you can have a rebuttal. If you have a okay. rebuttal. I doubt yeah, you why, would, why would I listen to your response if you're being dishonest, though? I am not being dishonest. You're making <laughs> an assertion. So you're saying you didn't straw man me at least five times in this conversation so far. You're still, look, you're still circumventing. Let me you're get not, this out. You're not so, admitting you straw manned me. So that's dishonesty. Your refusal to admit what you're doing is dishonesty. You're, uh, you're making an, you've asserted a conclusion without a premise or without any no, empirical no, evidence. Right. You so, are straw manning me. When you said that thing about pantheism, that was a straw man. Fucking tick. Because I never said anything about pantheism. I am not a pantheist. That's how I know for a fact you fucking straw manned me. And your refusal to admit to it, your refusal to say, okay, that was an accident. I made a mistake. Can we move on? That shows me your dishonesty. You have two particulars. Yeah, I'm not Particular A. No, the conversation's I, over. The conversation's if, over. Well, then you have you have lost this debate. Yeah, you have I forfeited. Have on YouTube. Let's see who thinks. Let's see what they think about who lost. You have you have two particulars. Particular A. I'm I pointing at the fallacy in your assertion you, of space you're, time. You're dishonest. I'm not interested in a conversation with you. You might as well be talking to someone who isn't here. I'm not listening anymore. Particular A. I don't Bro, I don't care. That's it. Because you know this premise. And- no, I just don't care what you have to say. You've proven yourself dishonest at this point. There's no point having a conversation with you. If you're going to act like this, then I know that there's no chance of a dialogue. Good. So, in your... I'm not answering. There's no conversation. I'm not, you're, I'm not asking you a question. Not, you're talking to no one. Who are you talking to? I'm not listening. Well, then, if you leave, then you are forfeited. Wait. I mean, you can say I forfeited. I crushed you. You suck. No, you're you the, didn't. Oh, you're a you're, look strategy. at you. You're still... Your rhetorical strategy was fucking you're, garbage. You're, you're, it, it actually almost made me gag. You were so pathetic. You're so... You're, look, you have two particulars. Particular A is tangible no, energy you, and matter. And particular B no, no, is no, your no, assertion... No, no. You forfeited the right to play that game with me, the game of an honest conversation, when you weren't honest. And blah, blah, blah. Every time you mute me, I'm just saying blah, blah, blah. I'm saying I'm going to say blah, 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 blah every time you mute me because you have forfeited this debate. It is, it is painfully obvious to the listeners and to myself that you know that I'm going to point out the fallacy in your space time. Every effort to discuss honestly with you, it was your dishonest tactics that led to this impasse. Why are you not addressing? You should have no, if you're so confident, then you should have no issue. You 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 should have no issue refuting what I'm about to tell you. You are a so dumb dipshit. Ad hominem, you already ad hominem, you already ad hominem, 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 ad hominem. Boring. So particular A... Particular A is tangible energy and matter. And you particular are... B, I'm going to mute you so then I could just get this out for the listeners. Yeah, yep, see how that works for you. Really, really going well for you, isn't it? What was I going to say? Fuck. Yeah, that's right. Um, No way. What was it again? Just, I'll just have to think. Let me. 
No, I don't even remember. You're so distracting. Fucking piece of shit. God damn. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you burnt the bridge for an honest conversation. You've had your chance, and that's it. Like, you can leave. Uh, you can say I forfeited. You can frame it however you like. But I know that your viewers will know that the reason that I reacted the way I did is because you were being dishonest. You weren't being a very good Christian, and they will see it. They're going to see through you, and I'm confident in that. You can say whatever you like now. I'm not listening, but you can round out your video or whatever, you know. I, I really, can you send me a link? Okay, I've just, I have, uh, had you muted. Yeah, I've yeah, got I you did. unmuted now. Yeah, can you send me a link for your video when you upload it? Is that cool? Uh, you, I really want to okay. see. I really want to see. I will send, send you a link. link. Yeah, awesome, cool. But I mean, this is, it's over. Like, you've burned the bridge. It's over. I'm and leave, listening. then leave, so then I can send you a link. Oh, this is my server. You can leave. So do you forfeit? I didn't forfeit. You lost, bitch. If you don't forfeit, then you have a rebuttal. I, no, you you already, you were disqualified, you fucking dipshit. If you in don't, conjunction, if you don't play by the rules of debate, you get disqualified. That's what happened. In conjunction to the law of excluded middle... If A, then B. If you, you don't you have a, if you don't have a rebuttal, you were disqualified. And uh, there's no moderator. I'm the moderator. I own. Well, the then you you didn't say that from the start. I don't care. You've been disqualified in no, my. No, you can't. All it's... I'm saying is, I don't want to fucking talk with you anymore. You've burned the bridge no, with me. You're not a moderator. You've burned the bridge with me because you acted like a dishonest piece of shit. You're the one. So now, if you actually watch, so now, if you, so you now, actually watch the video, so now, you will see that you interrupted me. Yeah, I know I, I did. Was, I, I was pointing out the fallacy in your no, assertion of speech. No, you keep trying to impose your frame on me, and I interrupt to say something like, uh, "No, I only this got this one assuming, sentence out, and this then is you interrupted me." And, and so you did the you, to me. You, you did the same to me. Today. You did the same to me. But you know what I didn't do to you? I didn't straw man you. And I, I said I, 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 I said that you are you were wrong. Yeah, you were wrong. That you asserted oh, that your worldview is is in conjunction to pantheism. It's still a straw man. You presented my view as such and such, which wasn't true and was uncharitable. That's called a straw man. And not just that, but your refusal to even admit that you'd made a mistake tells me you're dishonest. And that's how I know it's not worth trying to talk to you. Uh, look, pantheism, those who, those who invoke pantheism assert that pantheism. energy and matter has life from the start. Your, you were alluding to earlier... Fucking can't. I don't believe in that. What, uh, you can't you were alluding me. to earlier. So you you're still interrupting. You're what you it. were alluding to <laughs> earlier is that azoic energy that. is not azoic. Therefore, How it is... How was I alluding to that? Conscious. How did I allude to that? Because you said that you didn't have a prime mover. I don't need a prime mover. Okay, then your only alternative, your only alternative is energy and matter moving on its own. I'm massively ignorant about philosophy. That's really no, no, no. You're making no, another ad hominem. Yeah, shut up. If you think Sorry. that the only it's alternative, another shut up. If you think that the only alternative to a prime mover is pantheism, then you are very ignorant about philosophy. No, another ad hominem. You're the ignorant. opposite. That's a another fact. ad hominem. Another ad hominem. Call it an ad hominem. It's a fact, uh, though. No, that's an assertion. So the your prime mover of gravity is energy and matter. Oh, For yeah, energy and matter to move on its own consists of life. No, you you can't keep asserting something I've explicitly denied. This is you lying on the record. Are you are you saying are you are you saying that are you saying are you are you going to what you've in said your, about your, my position that's false? Your, Are you banning false worldview, against me today? 
in your false worldview, are you saying that tangible you energy is always moving? You, you, a Christian, you, you, are bearing you, you, false you. witness. Uh, that's, that is against the, your fucking tenets of your religion. You are bearing false witness against me. Do you, oh. do you recognize that? Uh, you claim there is no prime mover hey. in your worldview. So oh, yes, you're exactly. saying no, that, no, yes, you're exactly. Saying that, okay, then you're saying that energy and matter is always in a state of movement. Yes. Permanent they go. So then yeah. your so is that all that energy and matter to be moving consists of life. But your no, body no. Yes, it does. Yeah. Listen, your body what I mean your, about the scope of temporality. Within temporality, life emerges at a specific point on the timeline. From the metaphysical point of view, yes, stars always exist and life always exists. But typically, uh, when we're talking about beginnings and ends, we're speaking now, within please don't interrupt me. We're speaking no, you made it, from, uh, me, I'm not done. We're speaking from the limits of temporality. We're speaking from within space-time. Right, but medicine, yeah, you said earlier that stars are not eternal in your worldview. You are now but saying that stars are eternal in your worldview. The zeroth law, the zeroth no. law of thermodynamics due to thermal equilibrium debunks an eternal cosmos because the temperature fluctuates from hot to yeah, cold. I'm sorry, you're not listening. That's a physical law. The difference between physics and metaphysics, well, you can test this yourself. If you can, you pour, this is a physical when, law. This is a physical law. We are, I'm giving we, you, I'm giving you. I'm, you're not listening I'm, to me. I'm giving the you an example. I'm giving you an example. You when, you can you test yourself. when you pour, when you you're pour. Not you're literally just not understanding. This is all just you espousing your ignorance. What I said was, listen to me. Listen carefully, all right? Within space-time, stars are not eternal. Metaphysically, everything that right. exists exists eternally so because physics the entire timeline exists eternally but within the timeline of physics which is space time things come into being right stars and things come into being and they come into being because the laws of physics pre-exist them because the laws of physics are an extension of the laws of metaphysics so uh, hang on you i'm I'm point. I'm getting two lies from you now. Any lies? You, well, you you have a contradiction now. No, I don't. You, well, then I'll ask you. I'll ask you a very yeah. simple question. Yeah, yeah. Just to sort out these, to yeah. untangle all these lies. Yeah. In your worldview, is tangible energy eternal or not? I don't even understand what you're asking. Is it eternal? Is the universe eternal or not in your worldview? Universe is eternal metaphysically, not physically. And is I'm tangible sorry, energy no, eternal listen, or not in your I'm worldview? I'm not even understanding the... the is the tangible answer. energy in your worldview yeah. eternal or not? It sounds like you're not understanding the answer, right? So, like, um, let, me, let me explain I'm it to you, all right? Let, let, let me explain it to you. Is oh, listen, tangible listen, listen, energy, listen. you're playing semantics. <laughs> It's tangible Listen, energy. No, no, no. I've, got an example for you. I've got an example for you. We have a spinning top. You're dodging my question. You're dodging my question. No, I'm not. I'm using a counter example. We have a spinning top. Is the spinning uh, top shut up? The spinning top is both in motion and at rest. How is this? It's a contradiction. A contradiction. Oh, yeah, but oh. have you ever spun a spinning top? Along one axis, uh, it is yeah. at rest. Along another axis, it's in motion. Now, the reason that's not a contradiction is it's in two different senses. So when something contradicts, but the sense of the term changes between the two uses, then it's not actually a contradiction. So when I say metaphysically, things are eternal, but physically they change and they come into being and they cease being, that isn't a contradiction because my qualification established Establishes a difference in the sense. When you see when a human being moves up and down, when they when a human being moves their hand up and down, movement is happening internally. Human consists of tangible energy and matter. Extrapolate that back. All you're saying that all energy and matter consists of life for it to be moving on its own. I didn't say that. No. You don't have to say it. Well, yeah, I do. And if I don't, you're straw manning me. You're insisting. Uh, 
We're insisting are, that what I have said amounts to that. Is a, is a human like, being in your worldview? In your, in your worldview? You. In your worldview? If I deny, if I deny, if I deny your reframing of my idea, then your reframing is de facto wrong. That's just another assertion. So, in your worldview, are, are humans it's tangible right. energy and matter? In, in your worldview, if I represent your, your view, if I represent your view and then you tell me, my, shut up. If I represent your view, and then you tell me that my representation, right, my representation of your view was wrong, oh, and then shut up. Then who is, then who is correct about your point of in view? Your, is it you or is it me? In your worldview. Your, your, no, you're dodging it, my question. Yeah, I'm not. It's just that you keep strong I'm on the affirmative. Me. You keep strong on the affirmative. So I'm in your to to is, is, in, in your world, I'm, you are, I'm asking you a question. No, in your world, you strongman's you straw man's me. This is a debate. This is a debate. Yeah, the debate's so, over. You've been disqualified. Okay, you keep straw manning me. No, you're not a moderator. You're it not a moderator. You can't I'm not me. willing to talk to you any longer because you keep strawmanning me. Now, you can call that you winning. Uh, you're I just know. making another assumption. I know. I in know. Your world view, I know. I know, though, in your world view, I know, though, your world view. I know, though, that your audience is going to see through uh, your, your behavior. I'm pointing out the fallacies in your assertions. Look, I'm not so in your, talking to you anymore. Uh, you're alluding to pantheism because you're alluding to energy and matter moving on its own without an outside well, particular. Well, Straw manning me again. Good job. No, it's not a straw man. So, in your worldview, is tangible energy and matter eternal or not? There's no answer for you. You're you, you're a dishonest. Is tangible actor. energy in your matter eternal or not? You're a dishonest actor. I'm not willing to talk to you anymore. Is energy in your worldview eternal or not? You're a dishonest actor. I'm not willing. To talk the second to you law of thermodynamics debunks eternal energy. Your only alternative is an immaterial. Actor. You are a dishonest actor. You are a dishonest actor. You are a dishonest piece of shit. Fucking cunt. No one scummy piece of shit human being. You are a bad faith actor, and I'm not willing to talk to you anymore. You can't even answer the simple question that I asked you earlier. You're a bad faith actor, and I'm not willing to talk to you anymore. In your world, is tangible energy eternal or not? Uh, if you're not going to listen to me, we're not talking yeah, anymore. You're not answering the question. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I get you. No, no, I'm listening to my answer. My answer is I'm not answering any more of your questions. The conversation not, is over. The conversation is over. I get to say that. As a participant, I get to say I just no longer want to talk to you anymore. You have, hey, and listen, and listen, if you, you want to act like if you want to act like an autistic if you don't child, this you question, like, then you, you have to like, you to act like if you want to act like if you want to act like an autistic child, if you want to act like an autistic child, if you want to act like an autistic child, if you want to act like an autistic child, if you want to act like an autistic child and try and force me, if you want to act like an autistic child and try and force me into a conversation I've indicated. To you. If you want to act like an autistic child and try to force me, if you, if you want to act, try to act like an autistic child and try to force me, if you want to act like an autistic child and try to, if you want to act like an autistic child and try to, if you want to act like an autistic child, yeah, if you want to act like an autistic child and try to force me into a conversation that I've already indicated I don't want to have, then I'm just going to keep repeating myself. I've indicated I don't want to talk to you anymore. Act like a human being, you fucking piece of shit. Act like a human being. Listen, act like a Christian. Act like a human being. I've said, listen to me. I've said, shut the fuck up. Listen to me. I've said, I've said, I've said, I've said, I've said, I don't want to talk to you anymore act like a human being have some respect have some dignity have some manners you absolute scummy cunt low life person when i say that your conduct is such that i don't want to communicate with you any further you can't autistically repeat yourself and force me to have a conversation with you this isn't proselytizing this is you asking for a fucking psychiatric diagnosis you dumb fucking cunt Blah blah blah. blah. I always yeah, hang blah 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 blah. In your yeah. worldview is energy. You can keep blah blah. You're not gonna get unmuted now. So it's either you leave or you know you can sit here, but that's discussion's over. That's it. You're done. It's done. You're a liar, you're a piece of shit, and I don't want to talk to you. And now we're just gonna sit here. You can keep la la lying all the all the time, but um
Uh, I've got more server mute time than you have breath, bitch. At some point, you'll realize it's pointless and leave. And I hope you do still send me that link, because I'm going to laugh when your followers say, Actually, man, you were kind of a childish fucking cunt in this. I don't know why you uploaded it. I'm not planning to unmute you, so you can keep la lying, but I'm just going to leave you muted. I'm just going to sit here and talk, and you don't get to talk anymore. That's it. We're done. <clears throat> Man, they really broke the mold with you, didn't they? <laughs> Hell. Oh, shit. I don't. I don't think I've ever de de debated a more unpleasant, unruly, impolite piece of shit, fucking disgusting excuse for a human being in a long time. You know, like there are few people who will just try to fucking, you know, just fucking railroad you into the conversation they want to have. How fucking inhumane is that? Like, what sort of authenticity is there in you just talking to me? You talking to me like I'm a wall. Like, I don't matter. Like, I don't have a voice. Fuck you, cunt. If this is the way you convert people, fuck, you're going to convert a lot of people to the competing religions. I don't know what you're waiting for, man. I'm not unmuting you. That's that. It's over. Like, you can sit here for ages, but it's just going to be obnoxious shit you need to edit out. You reject logic, or you think logic is the right way to understand reality? Yeah, those, yeah, those, those are, are the hold me of thinking, <laughs> certain thinking. Okay, look, let me put it to you like this, Asuma, okay? Either you reject logic, or you accept logic, and if you reject that dichotomy, you implicitly reject logic, because that's the law of the excluded middle, mate. Middle mate. All right. So basically, what it is is it's this idea that I don't remember what planet it is. We'll say Mars, just for the purposes of this example. There's a there's a teapot orbiting Mars, a cosmic teapot, right? And um, I'm saying that it's there. What do you think? Do you think it's there? This is something about burden of proof or something like that. I'm, yeah, I'm, just, saying, I'm just saying, like, th there's a cosmic teapot, right? It's orbiting Mars. And we, we can't check. Is it there? Well, the main thing, the main thing I think that's interesting about synchronicity is just that there's a, there appears to be a relationship between uh, observing a phenomena and what actually happens. Mm -hmm. Very odd relationship. And the more accurately, and this is, has appeared to me, the more accurately and articulately you observe it, the odder 